Please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. In our today's lecture, we are going to uh, discuss how you can draw an equation y is equal to c where c is our constant. Uh, let's find out what are what will be the set of points. Okay, the first step will be to find the set of points. The order here will be like x comma c. Okay, where x belongs to real numbers. Now here one thing you have to know: the value of x will vary. Okay, but the value of y will remain constant. That is equal to c. Then how you can draw? The graph of the equation like this, where the x is varying and the y is constant. Okay, so in order to draw the graph, we can assume certain values. If we say, if we if we take, let's say, y is equals to three, that means the value here three is the value of c, that is constant. Where the value of y is three, that means the value of y is constant. For every value of x, the value of y will remain three. Okay. Then, what will be the x? Let's draw the table. Here we will draw the table like this in order to find the corresponding value of x for every constant value of y is equal to three. We can write like this. Here will be x. Here will be y. The value of x. Uh, first, we write the value of y. That will be three. For any value of x, okay. Now, what will be the value of x? We can take any value of x from the set of real numbers. So we can assume here as minus two, minus one, zero, one, and two. You can take any value from the x, as it doesn't matter whether you are going to take five, six, seven, eight, because it is not mentioned. Just it is mentioned that x belongs to real numbers, or there is no other. Uh, equation where um, uh, from where you can compute the value of x that is so you can just write any value of x keep in your mind for the equation like y is equal to c so let's draw the equation on the graph or the graph the equation how it will look like on the graph so this is a coordinate plane let's start drawing the points x and y on this plane first of all we have x equal to minus two this minus two so Where is minus two? So this is the point that is minus two, and the and the corresponding value of y is three. So we have this point, this point, where x is minus two and three is, uh, and the y is three, minus two and this is the first point. Then we have minus one and three. Minus one and three will be here. This point will be minus one and three. Then we have zero and three. Zero means when x is zero, it means the point lies on the y-axis. So this is the point where we have zero and three. Zero and three. Then we have one and three. One and three will be like this. Now you have noticed one thing that we are changing the x, but the y remains three throughout throughout the plotting. Okay. So that's mean this is a graph where the y is constant and x is varying. Then we have to plot three and two. X is two and y is three. This is the point where x is two and y is three. So we have plotted the five points. Now let's join them together to get the graph. So this is the graph of the given equation y is equal to c, where we have Consider the value of constant equal to three. It could be any. The constant could be five, six, seven, eight. If if the constant will if the constant will be uh, minus three, it will be in the uh, negative y-axis. Currently, it is in the positive y-axis. Okay. So this is how you can plot uh, uh, the graph of the equation uh, y is equal to c. Where the value of uh, of the uh, of uh, ordinate that is y or the y coordinate is constant and the value of x is varying and it could be any as we have not specified um, uh, in the equation or the uh, there is no other equation in which we can put the value of y and to get the x. So that's all about how you can draw the graph of y is equal to c. This is the constant. Thank you.
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.